Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Al Shahwab, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. Now, this is just going to be a quick lesson on how basically, you know, getting reproved and, you know, um, getting corrected will um, ultimately lead to, you know, better understanding. And uh, today, I. Uh, with a few brothers and we did a lesson and um in one of the verses that we brought out today we actually uh went off on the breakdown and um uh the, one of the older brothers in our camp uh corrected us on that and it, you know it was a beautiful thing because you know he caught it you know we were able to um um you know take that video down so you know it doesn't mislead you know those who are listening and um Ultimately, it led to a better understanding of, uh, you know, that scripture. You know, obviously, it got, you know, more knowledge on that. And, um, you know, that's just, you know, quick little testimony. You know, it's uh, much needed in this truth. You know, you're um, going to get reproved and, you know, rebuked and, you know, corrected from time to time. You know, it happens to all of us. You know, it's just something that we got to, um, you know, um, you know, deal with while we're in this truth. Okay, but ultimately, it's for you know our betterment okay it's gonna give us more knowledge wisdom and understanding okay and uh, i want to start off uh with this scripture here in proverbs 15 and 31 and it reads the ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise he that re uh, refuseth instruction despite his own soul but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding all right and that's the main thing right there okay is um is if you're going to hear that reproof, you're going to get that understanding, okay? You know, you're going to um, obtain more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And that's something that we need, okay? Especially, you know, with the times that are, uh, you, know, you know, coming, all right? You know, we want to, um, you know, break these scriptures down, you know, more properly, more accurately, okay? Beyond, you know, one mind, you know, having that one mind, one accord, all right? You know, we, we want to, um, you know, the scriptures we do know, we want to get more knowledge of it, more understanding, you know, how it applies to our life, you know, so on and so forth, okay? All right? You know, if you, uh, if you don't, um, basically, if you despise the reproof, okay, you know, you hate, you know, getting corrected, you know, ultimately, that's going to um, lead to you, you know, being rebellious, and, uh, you know, that's going to lead to your downfall, you know, because I've seen that many of times, you know, being in this truth, people that get rebuked and reproved, they don't like it. They harden their neck, okay, become very stiff necked. When that occurs, you know, they end up falling out of this truth. All right. And uh, I want to get one more scripture here in uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one well, um, so like he says, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a three-fold cord is not uh, quickly broken. All right? And this is just going into how, you know, it's... um. Good to have, uh, you know, brothers around you to pick you up when you fall, okay, to aid you, guide you, so on and so forth, all right? You know, that, that it, it was beautiful that that brother caught that, you know, because the, you know, the scripture that um that was brought out, I, I thought I had the understanding on it. It seemed like a very basic scripture, but, you know, it, it, you know, it seemed like a very small thing, but I, you know... I um, you know, I broke it down wrong, you know. And as the scriptures say, um, in Revelation, you don't want to be adding or taking away from the scriptures, because basically you can, you know, get destroyed for that, you know. So it was a beautiful thing, you know, that um, the brother caught me, cause I I didn't even realize I, I didn't know I got um, I went off until the brother, you know, let me know about it, you know, you know, and that's what the brothers are for. That's that's what this truth is about, you know, helping each other out and. You know, making sure that we're on the, you know, the path of righteousness. You know, if you see a brother slip, you know, make sure you pick him up. If you see him, you know, veering off, you know, to, 
you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, the you know the road to destruction. You want to veer him back to the, uh, you know, the the path of righteousness and salvation. All right, and you know I'm just gonna end it off with that. Hopefully, who's ever listening was edified, and with that I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone and salutations to the brothers out there. Shalom.